this is your first time here. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. So as you can tell by the today's title, it is a Dollar Tree haul. So I put myself on a budget for $20. I just wanted to show you guys what different meals you could throw together spending $20 for preps. So a lot of times people feel overwhelmed with preps. The reason why I'm standing right here is just to show you guys a couple of examples of things that I have. So like these mandarin oranges, these were 70 something cents at Aldi. So in my opinion, it's cheaper to buy certain fruits and veggies and, and just different things from Walmart and Aldi and any of your local stores. So that would have been a cheaper buy from Aldi. I also have this pizza crust. This was 77 cents at Walmart, y'all. So of course that's cheaper than Dollar Tree. I also have these potatoes. So these potatoes you can get from Aldi, Walmart, Dollar Tree, just any like any grocery store. So I paid I think 98 cents for these and I don't I think I got them from Walmart. I'm pretty sure I got them from Walmart. That's like my grocery store choice. So they have the Idaho brand as well and Dollar Tree carries both brands from time to time. So I just want to let you guys know that you do have options as to where you buy like your different foods. And actually you can get this even cheaper because I paid this, I paid 69 cents for this. I got this from one of the two stores you guys. I wish I could remember Chef's Cupboard. I feel like it might have come from Aldi. So this is even cheaper than Dollar Tree. This is 69 cents. So you can get more bang for your buck just by going to different stores sometimes. I think sometimes a lot of times we think because it's a Dollar Tree, we hear a dollar and just think that it's cheaper, but that's not always the case. Now I did purchase these hash browns from Dollar Tree and these are a dollar. I think these are cheaper than the grocery stores when I have found them. So you just have to do your research. The biggest thing you guys is just doing your research and trying not to become overwhelmed. I know you can kind of get overwhelmed and just kind of discouraged looking at other people's prepping journeys. I've said this before, everybody's prepping at their own pace. I'm late to this prepping journey, so I felt like for my family, I needed to kind of go out and like do double prepping and double stocking up and have at least a good supply of different items. But again, everybody's prepping journey is not the same. A lot of people started prepping before me. Y'all, I'm late to the game. I'm the first to admit I'm late to the game. I wish I had started sooner. I'm grateful and thankful that I started when I did. But you guys, just $5, I promise you, if you can scrape up $5 a week, if it's on the floorboard of your car, if you have to go inside your piggy bank, um, $5, I'm telling you, you can have at least a couple of different meals, at least because you got to remember rice and beans go a long way, y'all. So don't become discouraged. I'm going to show you again, 10 different meals that I got for a total of $20 from Dollar Tree. And yeah, I've talked much. I was being really serious. So I'm going to um, hop straight into this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go over 10 different meals. And again, y'all, these may not be ideal meals and meals that you really want, but like in a pinch and just to even get you started, I think it'll work. So the first thing that I picked up was the top ramen, so otherwise known as oodles and noodles. There are five packs in here. And then so the second meal that I picked up is the jambalaya. So, you know, typically the jambalaya, you would add like your ground beef or chicken, but you may not have that. So this rice, especially that is already like seasoned or has the seasoning in there, it will work. And you may also be able to mix and match something from another meal if you want to. So I'll go over that in just a second. Meal number three is the pasta size. It's the suddenly pasta salad, just classic. It has the pasta red peppers and seasonings. And that's what this looks like. I didn't give you a size on these either. So that's a 3.9 ounce box. The jambalaya is a eight ounce box. And then, you know, the these are individual packs and it's a pack of five. The next item I picked up was the Star Kiss Tuna. And you guys know what the tuna looks like. And then I picked up the a box of macaroni and cheese. So it's a 12 ounce box of macaroni and cheese. That's what it looks like. So it is Dollar Tree brand. And then you can mix the macaroni and cheese and tuna and that's another meal. So that's meal number four. Moving along to the next meal, I got the, um, the Colombian brand or Colombia brand penne. And so I picked up this can of cream of chicken to go with it. And then I also picked up this um, Kreider brand premium white chicken. So I was thinking you can do like a pasta because they didn't have Alfredo. So in a pinch, of course, I feel like you can use the cream of chicken, 
with the noodles and the chicken and you can do like a little pasta bake with it or a little oven bake with it. The next item I picked up was this stuffing. It is the turkey stuffing and I got a can of the Crider brand turkey as well to mix with this. And I'm hoping that maybe, you know, if you already have like a broth in your house, maybe you can use the broth with it. Or even like the following week, being that you got $20 uh, started for this week, maybe next week you can pick up like a can of broth. But I was just trying to do meals like on a $20 budget. So that is meal number, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Meal number seven is your classic spaghetti, meatless spaghetti. So this is a Columbia brand spaghetti and it does come with 25% more. And I paired it with the Hunt's garlic and herb. And this is just, you know, your traditional size can. The next meal I picked up are the egg noodles. So these are the Columbia brand egg noodles. And the bag is really big, y'all. It's a 12 ounce bag. So this will definitely... You can eat off of this a few times. It also has a recipe on the back that you can use. But I just picked up this can of the Patterson Homestyle um, Sausage Gravy. I kind of figured you can do like a stroganoff type meal with it. So that's why I decided to pair that with this. Moving along to my mashed potatoes. So mashed potatoes are pretty thick and pretty filling in my opinion. So I have this pack of Hunger Jack and this is the, let's see, the six ounce bag. It says that it makes eight servings. So again, you can eat off of this a couple of times. And I paired it with another can of the sausage gravy. And Bojangles is big in the South. And this is what they use. The, they actually use the sausage gravy on their mashed potatoes now, as of a couple of years ago. They used to use the brown gravy, but they switched it out. So this can be a meal. It's a small meal, but it will work. And then if you have corn, you can always mix corn on there or put it on top. Um, so many uses, different ideas you can use. The last meal, I picked up a bag of lentils. So this is a nice size bag of lentils. It is a one pound bag and it is the Go Jack brand. I picked up a bag of the Pampa rice and I believe this is a two pound bag. It's a two pound bag of rice. And then I picked up these um, tortilla wraps. So my thoughts on this, this is a quick, easy meal. You have your wraps. You have your rice and then you have your lentils. So your lentils, I have been told that these kind of can go as like a meat replacement. I've been given a couple of suggestions where people um, use the lentils instead of um, ground beef. Like somebody commented on when I can't remember who it was, but thank you for that. They commented that instead of using like your ground beef in um, meatloaf, you can use lentils. So that was my thought process of that. You can have your rice, your lentils, and have you a nice burrito wrap. So y'all, this is just 10 simple meals. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll be doing a couple more videos like this. And like I said, it was super simple. I'm not saying that it's the healthiest at all, but it's just something to get you started so that you have it. And I just wanted you guys to visibly be able to see what $20 um, can get you as far as prep. So I know that a lot of people are having a hard time with finances. This is just a hard time for everybody um my heart goes out to anybody who's going through it i will pray for you and your family if you guys need anything reach out to me my email is always in the description box i'll be doing more videos with this and putting together like mixing and matching different things oh one last thing so you have where's the chicken you have this chicken so this can be a meal too like if you happen to have like a can of corn in your house you can do the mashed potatoes the corn the sausage and then the chicken and you have like a kfc bowl type meal you know like the kfc they use the popcorn chicken but you can just substitute it for that chicken and i think it'll be just as good so yeah y'all that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed please make sure to give this video a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to my channel i would greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys soon